Some of his most beloved roles have involved time travel, werewolves, talking animals, and ghosts. Whoa, this is heavy. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for Michael J. Fox's top 10 performances. Number 10, Danny McTeague Jr., Greedy. Kicking off our list is a role that allows Fox to flaunt his comedy chops beside a stellar ensemble cast. The McTeague family doesn't want rich Uncle Joe to leave his money to his sexy new nurse, so they find his favorite nephew hoping he'll show Joe the importance of family. This ridiculous farce gives Fox the chance to display his best bowling moves and Jimmy Durante impression. Ha-cha-cha-cha-cha! Hank, I didn't get you. I didn't get it. I didn't get you. Number 9. Brantley Foster, Carlton Whitfield, The Secret of My Success. Who doesn't love dual identity mix ups? Ah. Uh, this isn't the men's room. Small town boy Brantley Foster moves to New York to make his millions, but nothing goes according to plan. Like, we mean nothing. Like, he has an affair with his aunt. My uncle. Your what? Oh, God, that makes you. Auntie Vera? Oh, God. <laughs> The movie's writing is a little stale, but Fox perks up the tired premise with his special brand of charm. Where would 80s movies be without Michael J. Fox? Number 8. Dwight, Rescue Me Fox's five-episode arc on Rescue Me refreshed the series and reminded audiences that MJF is a hell of an actor. He plays a belligerent drug addict, which isn't exactly a part he's used to playing. But here's the kicker, he's also paralyzed. No mean feat for a guy with Parkinson's. Come back, outside, 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 outside. Come back here, I'll kick your ass! You're gonna kick my ass? Yes, what, you want me to lay down on the floor so you can drive over my ass? That's a start! Okay, you start Dead, the please, please. Not only did Fox win a Guest Acting Emmy for his impressive performance, he also showed off his signature comedic skills. Number 7. Dr. Benjamin Stone, Doc Hollywood Fox's boyish appeal grows up a little here. He plays a doctor who's only in it for the money, but gets sidetracked on his way to Easy Street. Aside from great supporting characters, there's obviously a love story and a whole lot of on-screen chemistry between Fox and his co-star. Harpy, fix it. Wow, you mean he actually has one. We're pretty impressed to see him making life or death choices too, while not forgetting to keep us laughing. Number six, Nick Lang, Ray Kazanov, The Hard Way. Tempered movie star Nick Lang is a caricature of the Michael J. Fox we know and love. Desperate to grow as an actor, beloved by America, and hyperactive almost to a fault. You know what the problem is? I'm tired of playing cartoons, Ann. You don't want me to grow up. The studio doesn't want me to grow up. I'm the only one who wants me to grow up! This unique buddy cop comedy would not be the same without the electricity between him and James Woods. Woods may get the best lines, but who doesn't want to see Fox act like a woman? You treat me like I'm some sort of princess that you can't even touch. Well, maybe I want to be touched, John. Hey, maybe I want to be manhandled. <laughs> Number five, Private Max Erickson, Casualties of War. This Brian De Palma film proves that Michael J. Fox is more than a one-trick pony. In this real-life story, he stars alongside a terrifying Sean Penn as a private in the Vietnam War. Just because each of us might at any second be blown away, everybody's acting like we can do anything, man. And it don't matter what we do. But I'm thinking maybe it's the other way around, you know? Maybe the main thing is just the opposite. Because we might be dead in the next split second, maybe we gotta be extra careful what we do. While the film didn't do spectacularly well at the box office, Fox's performance reveals a new maturity in his acting that is very different from the smart Alec youngsters he normally plays. Number 4. Mike Flaherty, Spin City Michael J. Fox's first success was on a sitcom, and he finally returns to the medium with Spin City. The show was inspired by Fox's role in the film The American President, and his work on the series won him three Golden Globes and one Emmy. Unfortunately, Fox was forced to retire from the show due to his worsening Parkinson's disease. If this is some kind of joke, let me just say, uh, good one. I, I get it. That's, uh, ha. But at least he left us with something memorable. Number 3. Scott Howard, Teen Wolf so it's the epitome of cheesy 80s movies. That's why we love Michael J. Fox. He plays a high school student who discovers he's a werewolf, and as a werewolf, he's a great basketball player. This movie is all about heart and charm, which Fox provides in spades. Hey, I'm no different than anyone else. That's nice. You look good in that. He's not a very convincing monster, but he is the kind of guy you just want to be friends with. Number 2. Alex P. Keaton, Family Ties 
This is Fox's breakout role. Young Republican Alex P. Keaton won him three Emmys and introduced him to the world. Somehow, Fox managed to tape Family Ties during the days of early 1985 and record his huge film Back to the Future at night. Fox uses the show's great writing and his own natural likability to make us love him, in spite of his money, money, money attitude. I am willing to supplement your income by 25 cents a week in exchange for a service. What could be more reasonable? Alex, I don't want to clean your room. <laughs> Number 1. Marty McFly, etc., Back to the Future Trilogy Coming in at number 1 is the trilogy that cemented Michael J. Fox as a household name. And without him, this beloved franchise never would have worked. Not only does Fox play Marty, he also plays his son, daughter, older self, and a distant Irish ancestor. This trilogy is Michael J. Fox's most memorable on-screen work. Well, what are you talking about? What happens to us in the future? Or become assholes or something. And one of the greatest motion picture series of all time. Whether he's full of hair, scheming, or traveling through time, Michael J. Fox sure is entertaining. No need to thank me. It's all part of the job. Over now. <laughs> you want something done right, goddammit? Call an act. We've definitely missed a few of his best roles. Tell us which ones you would have added. Ooh.